Yeah, hi there, my name is Dominic Sams from a company called High Temp Pool Heating. Um, we've been around for more than two decades. We've been heating pools all over South Africa. Um, we've been manufacturing panels right from the grommet through to the riser pipes, assembling them, um, getting them packaged and obviously shipping them not only in South Africa, but for export. Uh, the reason for this video is we wanna cover most of the common questions that our team get asked on a daily basis with specifically solar pool heating. So let's get to the Q and A's. One of the biggest questions is what temperature will my pool reach? With solar, obviously there's limitations. You need sun to be transferred through the solar panels into the water to heat it up. So to answer that question, you can achieve a six to eight degree temperature hotter than an unheated pool. Another very good question is, do I need a separate pump? Generally, your existing pool pump is strong enough to redirect the water through the solar panels which are mounted on your roof and back down into your filter system which obviously eventually ends up back in the pool. So the answer is no, you, you generally don't have to add another pump. Like I've said, we've been in the business for 20 years, so we offer great after-sale service. We've got lots of spare parts, riser pipes, grommets. Um, we've got teams in all major cities that can do repairs to systems. Another good question is how long does it take for the water to heat up? Generally, we, we use the rule of thumb three days. You will see your six degree temperature increase. Hybrid systems are quite common nowadays and that is when people use a combination of solar pool panels as well as a heat pump. So the question here is can we use both together? Definitely you can. We get this question quite a bit. There's three main panels on the market at the moment. We've got the single density panel, we've got the double density panel and we've got an EPDM panel. Now the first two that I mentioned, the single and the double density, are your traditional spaghetti type panels. Now the single density panel has only 70 of those. The double density has 140. What it means is we're condensing a lot more pipes into the same amount of space. Remembering that each panel, the width is still the same, 1.25 meters, but we're crunching in more of the pipes into a double density. The reason why that panel was developed was some homes that you go to, the guys have got a big pool but limited roof space and they may need 12 panels. There's not enough space for 12 single panels. So what we do is we suggest six double density panels. And then if we move on to the triple density panel, which is a fully imported panel, they call it a fully wetted panel as well, meaning that there's absolutely no gaps between the riser pipes. Its composition is also different. It's made from a type of rubber. The installation process is slightly different to the other two that I've named in that the panel comes rolled up in a box. You can take the box up onto the roof, simply roll it out on the roof, and it's got a nice clip system where you can actually clip the panel together with an O-ring. Um, your singles and your doubles obviously need to be glued together. So those are really the, the differences between them. But people would say, well, why do I need to go for a single or a double or a triple? If you've got budget, go with the triples because you would need fewer of them as opposed to a double or a single, as well as the fact that they look a lot neater and they're also easier to install. So the answer is it is pretty easy. If you're any sort of handyman, you will not have a problem. You've got to have obviously basic hand tools, but it is so easy. So what I recommend is, if you're not on our website, hop onto our website. You'll see there is a big button there that says quote me or request a quote. Click that, it's a simple form, couple of questions. We will send you through an installed quote. If you're brave enough now, you can click on the DIY option. You can select what panel you want, how many meters of piping you want. But the main thing is we are going into cooler months now and you want to extend your swimming season. Our slogan is a heated pool is a used pool and we really mean that. The average person uses their pool 30 times a year when it is unheated. We want to extend that to in the hundreds. We want you to use your pool 100 times a year.